Yellowtail snapper on patrol. Wahoo in the boat, baby! That's a solid kingfish right there. Yeah! Nice dolphin. There we go. That's dolphin trolling for you. beautiful morning in the Florida Keys. I've had several questions about, hey, you can actually troll for snapper? The answer is yes, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Before we get into this though, if you wanna learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. All right, folks, like I said, it's a beautiful morning. Take a look at this sunrise gonna be a great day in the florida keys you know what that means we'll see you out on the water all right folks so we headed out of key largo today at a north sound creek let me show you where we're at on google Earth. we're sitting in an area known as the patrick's about three or four miles off shore east of what is known as Hawks Channel, about a mile and a half. Like I said, we're gonna go over how to troll the Patrick's, how to get into the hookup with snapper trolling. What we're gonna use is we're gonna use light spinning gear, Penn Battle 5000, spooled with 20 pound braid, and about a 75 top shot of 20 pound fluorocarbon. Our lures are gonna be white bucktail jigs, only I've refurbished them because the bucktail part of it has gotten chewed off and I have replaced it with a translucent glow-in-the-dark squirt squid. And we're gonna troll a second line, which will be a Penn Spinfisher 5500 with the same lure. Both our rods are Penn Battalion rods that are seven foot, super shock absorbent for when we get into that hookup. Like I said, we're going after snappers. So the idea is we wanna be over to Patrick's in between 12 and five feet of water. We're gonna get vicious strikes. The fish are gonna go and try and bury themselves in the rocks immediately. So we've got to be vigilant of when we get the hookup. And another key to success is also speed. You don't want to go too fast, yet you don't want to go too slow. We want to be doing about four to five knots. We've got a nice west wind, sandy, stirred up bottom, which is good, which will help us get into the bite. What that's going to do is that's going to kind of conceal the fact that we're trolling a lure entice the impulse to feed yet at the same time give us a little bit of that stealth factor to our advantage to get into the hookup all right so we've got our patrick's this way about a quarter of a mile so what we're going to do is we're going to fire up the engine we're going to get going and we're going to start putting in the lines that way we've got our lines out as we approach the reef so as you can see up here we've got this dark area and we're into aqua green that dark area that dark area is our reef and we're going to start our trolling up. So we're going to kind of slow down a little bit and we're going to get a line in the water before we hit it. And we're fishing with three quarter ounce bucktail jigs on light spinning gear. The beauty of this light spinning gear is the fact that I can literally pitch it out while I'm talking to you, get set up, get going before I even hit the reef. Like 
like I said, he went to the rocks. Alright, so I'm going to have to re-rig that one. But I want to get my second line up and trolling. Right now. You know, you don't got to let out very far. About 50, 75 feet. Get up at it. Get up quick. Get her done. That's simple. We're up and trolling right now. Less than a minute. We're going to come right back over this dark ledge right here. Which is what we're looking for. Coming over. Oh, look at that. That's how you do that. Hit. Sticks past the end. Man, we got a ye keeper yellowtail trolling. It's all realistic to troll for snapper in these shallow reefs. Here we go. From the aqua to over the reef. This is where the fish are going to lie. So as we're going on, we're going to see, you know, if something comes up and hits us. If not, we've got more up here to cover. Oh, camera! There we go. Good one.
something like a yellowtail snapper, only smaller. <laughs> All right. Back at it. Gonna head over here. See if we can find us some more fish. Like I said, trolling up snapper. Don't ever think. This is what we're looking for, that green and the black patches going over the reef from where the sand meets the reef. You just troll around it and wait for the bite. See what you can get into. Today it seems to be like all yellowtails and barracudas. But hey, we'll take it. Again, we're right around 13 feet of water right here. So, you know, we're not doing anything crazy. We're not real deep. We're trolling in shallow water, literally. Come over this and just comb the edges where the sand meets the reef. Look at this. Sanding meets the reef. Oh, oh, and we're on. Oh, just like that. Like I said, that's how it happens. Good fish right there. I mean, like clockwork. Barracudas and yellowtails today. Oh yeah! I'm over the sand now, so he doesn't really got nowhere to run. Nice kuda over the reef, friend. A little light tackle trolling. Oof. Come on, don't hurt yourself, buddy. And there he goes. Nice little kuda. <laughs> all right. All yellow tails and barracudas today. But you know, I really wanted to show that you can troll up snapper. And it's more mud snapper lots of times, but today it's all yellow tails, which is great. I mean, that's just showing you, you know. These reef fish can be trolled up. Don't ever think you gotta just sit there and chum up and do that. If you're doing that, you're kind of locked into a place. If you're trolling, you're on the move. You can always hunt down and move if nothing's happening and 
keep on the bite. Circle back. If you don't find anything, go back to where you were finding the bite. All right, folks. So we headed out to the pat troops today to say, hey, we're going to troll up some snappers. What we got into was a bunch of yellowtail snapper and nice sized barracudas. Had a bunch of fun doing that shallow reef troll. And I even got barracudas swimming around the boat right now. Still, they're vicious. Regardless, we had an epic day. You know, put on a clinic of how you can actually troll up snapper. And yes, yellowtail snapper. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. Hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned a little bit about shallow water trolling or snapper. And you know how to deal with them toothy critters too, barracuda. You know, you saw, I'm using 20 pound fluorocarbon. I have no wire leader on. I caught some nice barracuda with it. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.